you are wasting so much time if you don't use these six windows apps so i am working on this thumbnail in photoshop and i need to add a file from a folder named backgrounds instead of manually navigating using an app from this video I'll be able to simply type the name of the folder I'm looking for and instantly navigate there. No more clicking around. This is only one of the ways that will upgrade and speed up your workflow in this video. So stay tuned because most people are navigating their computer the hard and inefficient way. The app that adds this functionality is called Listeri. You can download it for free. Listeri is also really useful when saving or opening files. For example, when I try to save this .psd file, the save as dialog opens in a completely random direct, even though I already have the folder I want open in File Explorer. With Listeri, I can just click once on File Explorer and then click again on the save dialog and it will instantly navigate there. This feature is called quick switch. I can also trigger it by pressing a shortcut. For me, it's control plus Q or by clicking the folder under the dialog. You can set the quick switch shortcut in the hotkey tab under options. If you don't have the folder open in file explorer, you can click on the clock icon to access the folders that you opened most recently. And if you are opening a file, but don't have the folder you're looking for open in File Explorer, you can simply type in the search bar to find it. I was once editing a video on Premiere Pro and I was trying to create captions. I've already configured these options to my liking and saved them to a preset, but I did not remember where I saved the file that contains the template. Premiere Pro was looking for a file with .pr captions preset extension and with Listeri I can type the extension and instantly find the file I'm looking for without having to look around multiple folders to find the file. You will find lots of ways to use Listeri that will make your life way easier. If you come up with examples yourself I'd be interested to hear about them in the comments. And let's say I am looking for a file that starts with the character A. I can just type A and navigate with the arrow keys to find the exact file. It will show files that exclusively starts with the character A at first and then it will look for files that have the character A inside their name not necessarily as the first character by pressing the right arrow key or with Control O I can access the context menu where I can perform actions like opening the folder in a new window pressing Alt P will open a preview pane where you can get more details about the file there are also filters like folder colon to only search for folders or file colon to only search for files typing period then enter will go up one directory windows doesn't generate thumbnails for certain file types like .psd files or .mov files making it hard to identify media files visually so instead of opening photoshop or a media player to preview the files one by one the next app will turn these blank icons into proper thumbnails the app is called Icarus and it supports generating thumbnails for a wide range of media formats that File Explorer does not support so that you can instantly recognize and get a good feel of the file's contents without having to open them at all. After you install the app, open Icarus config and then click on the thumbnail tab, click on the thumbnailing button to activate it and choose the most known preset which will add lots of file types to generate thumbnails for. If you encounter a file that still does not have a thumbnail preview, click on this plus button, select the file and Icarus will automatically start generating thumbnails for its file extension. Activating properties will allow you to view information such as length, width, height, artist, etc. in Explorer for any of the checked file types below because by default that information is not generated for these file types. I personally select all video and audio file formats i also recommend that you enable dynamic caching this will allow icarus to retrieve thumbnails that it already generated so that it doesn't have to do it again which will make the process way quicker and you won't have to wait for the thumbnail to generate each time in the locations tab you can add frequently accessed folders so that their files always have thumbnails. You can also add a file to the supported file types by dragging and dropping it. I also recommend you enable this option, which will make Icarus perform a scan of the grabbed frame for video files and check if it's too dark or too light, and then skip one frame looking for a more legible thumbnail. I also recommend you check this option. It will use the cover art 
for files that supported, like music files as thumbnails. Since I've installed Icarus like a year ago, I've never had to worry about blank icons again. I've just set it up once and it kept working in the background, generating thumbnails without any further tweaking. Sometimes thumbnails are not enough and opening the files in a media player one by one takes a lot of time. With quick look, I can simply press space and skim through the video to get a good idea of its contents and the videos open instantly unlike with a full media player if i want to look through an entire folder i can press space then navigate with the arrow keys to preview the next video quick look can work with a variety of file types and give a preview without needing to launch the full program associated with the file you can use it to preview psd files pdf files music files zip files folders HTML files, code files, and even more. Quick Look also works in open save dialogs so that you can verify you are importing the right files. These are the supported file types and you can extend it further with plugins. For example, there's a plugin called Office Viewer that lets you preview Office formats like Word documents or Excel spreadsheets. Quick Look also works with third party file managers like Files and One Commander. If you use PowerToys, there's a module called Peak that works like Quick Look, but in my experience, it's slower and supports less file types. The next app is like a command center for performing tasks on your computer. You can launch apps, translate words, quickly calculate something, search Google, search YouTube, or look up folders or files. A quick tip to make a folder show up at the top of the search results, press right arrow key, then select add to quick access now that folder will always show up at the top it's useful to do that for frequently accessed folders you can press ctrl enter to open it in file explorer or enter to browse it inside the app ctrl backspace goes up one direct the app is called flow launcher and you can download it for free you can also perform system commands like shutdown restart restart with advanced boot options or sleep you can also search Windows settings and control panel options by typing S space. There are a lot of customization options and themes to make Flow Launcher look however you want. You can also install a lot of plugins to extend the functionality of Flow Launch. For example, there is a timer plugin to set timers and alarms. There is a plugin that downloads videos from social media apps like YouTube. And Instagram there's an app upgrader which will allow you to upgrade your apps using Winget clipboard plugins and way more alternatively you can use fluent search it has so many settings and customization options but is not as simple to use and set up as flow launch there are also more advanced features like machine learning that I covered on my macOS features for Windows video in comparison Fluent Search is more powerful out of the box, is more customizable, but has way less plugins than Flow Launcher. And it's slower. Flow Launcher, on the other hand, is simpler, faster, and can be extended with a lot of plugins, unlike Fluent Search, which only has a few. Online converters are slow, risky, and require an internet connection. File Converter is an offline open source tool accessible from the context menu that allows you to convert files with a lot of supported file types without an internet connection you won't have to wait for your files to upload and they will not be stored in a server everything happens on your device i always use file converter to convert the screen recordings into dot mp3 files so that i can send them to rx11 which is an audio editor to remove the background noise from the audio because it does not accept mp4 files I also use it a lot when I download an image from the internet, but Premiere Pro does not accept it. By converting it with File Converter, it usually becomes compatible. As you can see, it's way more convenient than using an online convert because I might have to do this with multiple files for every project. File Converter supports converting to these formats for audio, video, image, and document files, and from these formats. Although we've already covered other search tools in this video there are still some use cases where everything search is better first everything search has different view options like large thumbnails or details you also have sort by options and these filters will help you look for the exact file type you are looking for i use 
everything search to find the same type of files that are scattered around multiple folders. For example, when I'm making a thumbnail, I might search for arrows and then filter by picture. You can see that not all arrow files are under the same folder and I would set the view to large thumbnails so I can quickly find the exact arrow that I want to use. And by using Icarus, I can ensure that I always have thumbnails so that I can visually identify these files. There's also other use cases like if you've recently saved a file but don't know where exactly you've saved it, you can sort by date modified, ascending and find it here. Everything search supports a search syntax, for example, like ext colon mp4 date modified today to find all the .mp4 files that were modified today. You can also look through every .psd file on your computer. The thumbnails will be generated thanks to Icarus. I've covered everything search in more depth in an older video that I will leave in the top right corner.